Chattanooga is known as the scenic city, thanks to the many geologic features that make up the land around this great city. Geology is the study of the earth and its natural processes. Today, we're going to take a look at the geologic features of Chattanooga, which means we're going to take a look at the natural landforms in the city we call home. We're going to discuss features like mountains, rivers, and caves. Many of these are landmarks you have seen before, and hopefully you'll discover somewhere new you'd like to visit this summer. Before we can jump into the famous mountains around Chattanooga, let's start with what the mountains are made of. Rocks. What is a rock? A rock is a mass made up of minerals, which are solids, formed by natural geologic processes. There are tons of rocks in Chattanooga. The most common rock type in our region is called sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is made up of sediments like sand, clay, or pebbles, and is deposited in layers as you can see here. Over many millions of years, these layers are built up and eroded down into the mountains you see around Chattanooga today. Unlike the snow-capped mountains you may see elsewhere, our mountains are often long and flat-topped, just like Lookout and Signal Mountain. Mountains are tall land masses with steep sides. The mountains around Chattanooga are not as tall as the Appalachian or Rocky Mountains, but they are still steep and often capped with tall vertical cliffs. Have you ever visited Ruby Falls, Rock City, or the Scenic Railway? If so, you've been to Lookout Mountain. Signal Mountain is on the northwest side of Chattanooga and it is a popular rock climbing destination. The sedimentary sandstone rock has a gritty, sand-like texture and draws in rock climbers from all over the world. Raccoon Mountain is a popular spot for mountain biking. It also has a body of water called a reservoir on top that generates power for the Tennessee Valley Authority. All of the mountains around Chattanooga have excellent hiking trails. These trails are a great way for everybody to experience the geology and scenery of the area. There are many bodies of water in Chattanooga that you probably see every day driving around the city. The Tennessee River that runs through downtown is the 12th largest river in the country by volume. Over time, the water in the river has helped shape the landscape of Chattanooga we see today through the process of erosion. Erosion is the process of rock or landscape being worn away over time by water, wind, gravity, and other natural processes. Erosion works slowly but given enough time, it can create dramatic changes in a landscape. All along the Tennessee River, you'll see dams constructed by the Tennessee Valley Authority. Dams are built to control flooding and generate power. In 1867, nearly the whole city was flooded when the river rose almost 58 feet above its normal level. Thanks to these dams, Chattanooga does not experience flooding like it once did in the past. The dams also create great fishing and boating locations like Chickamauga and Nickajack Lake. Creeks are also commonly found around Chattanooga. Creeks are smaller streams of water. The creeks around Chattanooga flow from the higher mountains to the rivers and valleys. Over many, many years, the creeks help form gorges by carving through layers of rock. A gorge is a narrow place between rocky cliffs. Oftentimes it has steep sides. The Tennessee River Gorge is the largest gorge in the region at 26 miles long and 800 feet deep. One of the many creeks that flows into the Tennessee River Gorge is Middle Creek. Middle Creek hosts many geologic features, a boulder field, springs, caves, and waterfalls. Many of the creeks around Chattanooga are popular for swimming and kayaking. Mm -hmm. 
when a creek has its source from a spot in the ground, it is known as a spring. This spring at Middle Creek is also a waterfall. Over time, a spring flowing from the ground can erode the surrounding rock to create a cave. The cave next to Middle Creek shown here is very close to the spring you just saw. The caves like Ruby Falls and Raccoon Mountain Caverns are common in our region and are popular for tourists and experienced cavers alike. Due to the nature of sedimentary rock around Chattanooga, sometimes you can find fossils. Fossils are ancient remains of once living plants or animals that have been preserved in the rock. These fossils are both an ancient type of tree that lived almost 300 million years ago. Coal is another type of rock that can be found around Chattanooga. Though there are no active coal mines in the area today, the coal that was mined here over the last 200 or so years was a major part of how Chattanooga developed into the city it is today. Though it has taken millions of years for the land around Chattanooga to become the landscape we see today, the processes that have shaped it have not stopped working. Processes like landslides, Rainy weather, rivers, and streams are still constantly eroding away at the land. Geology is an ongoing process and it shapes the world that we live in. Next time you go outside, look for the mountains, rivers, and rocks that make the scenic city look so scenic.